Welcome to... On tonight's Clubhouse Live, it's the canine's turn to co-host. That's right, Keyshawn Nixon is here. And hanging out with Keyshawn is a friend of the show, Kenny Clark, is here as well. Another week, another loss for the Packers. What's it going to take to turn it around? Well, we'll ask. Plus, we've got a spectacular Clubhouse Live challenge for the guys. It's time to get started. So, hey, Keyshawn, hey, Kenny, come on in. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Yes, welcome back. It's Monday night. We are at the Fox Club inside Neuroscience Group Field here at Fox City Stadium in Grand Chute, Wisconsin. This is the home of the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers. It is also the home to Clubhouse Live. I'm Brett Christofferson with USA Today Network, Wisconsin and the Post Crescent. What a great crowd tonight to fill in the Fox Club. How's everybody doing? Let's hear ya. <laughs> Bringing some energy. We appreciate you guys being here and having some fun hanging out with us tonight. You know who else is hanging out with us tonight? We have some very special people that uh, are our honorary high fivers. Uh, they're right over there. Check them out. They are the state champion Xavier girls cross country team back to back champs, by the way. There they are. Fresh off of that championship day. Just a couple days ago, Saturday in Wisconsin Rapids. We will introduce them more formally here uh, later on in the show. A lot to talk about, of course. We always do, right? Uh, we have to start out by saying Vikings 24, Packers 10. Another uh, uh, tough day at the office for the Green and Gold as the Packers saw their losing streak ex uh, extend to four straight after falling to their bitter rivals. Again, Green Bay plagued by uh, a slow start, then had some opportunities, right? Kind of the same script to rally in the second half, but fell short. So where do the Packers go from here? That's the big question. Well, they have to go back to work, right? That's how, it's, uh, that's how it works in the NFL. Time to learn, make some corrections, and start the process all over again as Green Bay now preps for its up upcoming showdown against the Los Angeles Rams. So Mad Vince in the house. We don't like Mad Vince anymore. We're tired of Mad Vince. We're tired of that face. We want Vince to be happy, and he's always happy when the guys are here, his football players. He loves those guys. First of all, our co-host, our other co-host is back. He's sitting right over there. He's filling his face. It's Keyshawn Nixon. He's sitting right over there. <laughs> Getting some food in that belly before he comes over here. Hey, check out who's hanging out with Keyshawn tonight. It's a friend of the show. It's Kenny Clark is also here. <laughs> Defensive line night. Always good to see Kenny. Hey, uh, before we get going, though, I want to thank our presenting sponsors. We have Cellcom and Packerland Home Improvement. First at Cellcom, uh, putting you at the center of all they do means saving you $500 when you join. You choose the plan, number of lines, and phone. Visit Cellcom.com for details. And Packerland Home Improvement has delivered superior windows and doors installation service for 50 years. Take advantage of their current special. Buy one window or door, get one 60% off plus 12 months, no payments. And for the folks in the audience and watching online, I'll say it again, you get an additional $250 off your entire project simply by mentioning Clubhouse Live. What a deal, right? Packerland Home Improvement, it matters, it's your home. You know who doesn't matter? It's the other member of our Clubhouse Live team, right? It is Chicago Bears fan, Ricardo Arguello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> A little angry, Ricardo. They've taken some frustration. Yes, out of you. I, I can sense the hostility just a tad here. Yes, Brett, uh, your Bears uh, look good yesterday, right? They, they, yeah, they look good getting off the plane, maybe. Season's uh, over. Season's over. Well, I don't want to say it's over, but I will say this, Brett. I'm paying attention to all the mock drafts for the NFL draft already in April. Already paying coming attention up in April. Yeah. Right? Well, your Bears two and six slumping as always. No surprise. No surprise. But. Uh, Ricardo, we don't want to talk about that team. We want to talk about the green and gold, and we want to talk about how this show works. So can you uh, refresh everybody's memories on yes. how it all goes Well, down? we have our interactive live chat, Brad. You know, obviously you started a little early today at 6 o'clock. They're all, they're all on, and it's pretty active. If they have any comments or questions, Brett, I get that right. Over to you. Anybody who's watching right now, if you have any comments or questions, just log into that live chat. It can be found right next to the viewer, Brett. I'll get you those comments to you and Keyshawn and Kenny right away. Twitter or X handles. I'm at PC Bretzi. You're at Ricardo De Leon. Uh, Keyshawn is at Keyshawn Nixon, and uh, Kenny is at KC Bout That Life. Rams, welcome, Matt. It's the Rams' turn for the guys to stomp their feet all over. By the way, how about Mara Wagner making a, a special 
welcome mats for uh, each of the uh, opponents. Those look season. great. So we want the guys to step their, stomp their feet all over that and uh, hopefully bring some good luck here, uh, not only on Sunday, but in the weeks to come. Let's get our co-host over here. He is in his fifth NFL season, his second with the Packers. He has made plays on defense, right? He's made plays on special teams, and he has made one play, one play on offense. We need to change that. He needs to get out there a little bit more. He prevents touchdowns, right, by ripping away the ball on would-be catches in the end zone. Did you see that play, right, uh, coming through the K-9? And our co-host is an all-pro. Give it up for Green Bay Packers cornerback. It's K-9. It's number 25. It's Keyshawn Nixon, everybody. It's apocalypse now. Uh, it's apocalypse now. There you go. Uh, yes. It's apocalypse now. It's apocalypse Good to see you, Keyshawn. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm doing. Did you hear people are barking now when you come onto the stage? Oh, roof, here. roof. I heard it. Yeah. yeah, yeah the K9 yeah, yeah. is here. Good to see you. Uh, programming note: We are back to our regular schedule. Finally, next Monday, right? Monday at 6:30, right here at the clubhouse. Josiah DeGore and a teammate guest will be here. So, welcome back to the show. But I mean, this isn't on the script. But uh, you got a, we got a very interesting and a very important young man at the VIP table that I think you need to yeah. introduce not only the crowd to but all the thousands uh, watching online. Who is that good-looking young man sitting at the table right now? Uh, that's my oldest son, KJ. Uh, he's five years old. Yes. Look at him. There he is on the screen. Look at that. He's more interested in what he's eating than being on the, on the screen. Look at that kid. Look at that kid. A future all-pro cornerback and kickoff return man, right? Right there. Yeah, he got it in him. Yes, you tell me he plays a little soccer, right? Yeah, soccer player. Is he good? I bet you he's good. Yeah, real good. I bet you he's got yeah. the, the, some athleticism to him. Look at him just munching away. So good to see uh, young KJ. Let's lighten up the crowd. Actually, the crowd is pretty good tonight, but I, I thought, you know, after a tough game, I'm going to give it to you. This is your show. You're the star of the show. I want you to lighten up this crowd. Let's tell him a joke. Tell him, a, tell him something, K, a K9, to get this crowd fired up and revved up. The Bears stink. Oh, there you go. Hey. There you go. That's all that it was takes. unnecessary. <laughs> That's all it takes. That's, That's all, all it takes. So we're going to a 6 p.m. start time because I understand uh, there's a little, little shindig going on at Lambeau Field or, the, yeah, or, or yeah, maybe not yeah, at Lambeau. Yeah. What's going on? A little heard, Halloween uh, party? Heard it's a little Halloween get-together. Yes. You have yeah. your, are you going? You got your costume all picked out? Yep. Well, can you tell us what you're going to be? I got a really big white sheet. <laughs> I cut two holes in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I want to say boo. Yeah. <laughs> That works, right? Yeah. That works, and that it's cheap. It done. A sheet and a pair of scissors, and you're Real good to go. Real low cost. Yeah. Real low cost. I like it. He's frugal, right? Yeah. He's, he's taking care of his money. So any sneak peek at maybe, do you know what some other guys are wearing? Uh, Josiah said, well, I'm trying to remember what Josiah said he was going to be. No, I don't think nobody's selling each other because uh, I think it's like a surprise for like the best. Okay. They got to put me top five. I got to win something. I, I'm guessing your costume probably not going to win something, K9. I think I, it might do something. You think it's going to win something? <laughs> You know what you should have been like Charlie Brown where he had holes all over his, his, his ghost costume. Remember that uh, on the Great Pumpkin? So, hey, how about this? Halloween's tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. You got young KJ over there. Are you going to be handing out some trick-or-treat candy, number one, at your house? And number two, if so, what's your address? <laughs> Full-size candy bars? Mm -hmm. He is a professional athlete yes. after all. I don't, I don't want to admit this, but I've never passed out candy on Halloween. Wow. But you're going to start tomorrow night, aren't I'm you? I'm going to start tomorrow night. Where can people find this house? Somewhere in Howard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've kind of narrowed it down. Maybe we can zero in. Will young KJ go out and do a, do a little trick-or-treat? Yeah, I'm going to take him out. I'm going to take him out. You do know it's going to be freezing cold yeah, tomorrow night, right? Yeah, I think he knows now, too. What's KJ going to go as? I don't know. you got to ask him. Well, can we ask him? Yeah, KJ, what do we... I could take the mic over yeah. here. Yeah, go ahead, Ricardo. Let me get in front. KJ, what's your costume for tomorrow? Do you know? Miguel. Miguel? He's too, he just wants to keep eating. I'm not sure. It's <laughs> That's fine. He's busy deep, dipping the chicken tender. And he doesn't he's, want to talk to you, Ricardo. <laughs> no one wants to talk to me. That's he probably true. doesn't want to talk true. to you. Well, That's he's good. going. You, you want to say it one more time? What are you going as? Miguel Hera. Anybody know what that is? I think is? that's like a type of Spider-Man. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There we go. We're old. We don't know what the kids yeah, I don't like know. nowadays. Just, we, yeah. don't, we don't know what the kids we, like. We just know he's going to be out filling that basket uh, with a whole bunch of uh, candy. 
and somewhere in Howard, K9 is going to be handing out full size candy bars and maybe a little bit more. So we maybe you and I should go, Ricardo, and try to maybe. Find out I where think he that's lives. the animated Spider Man, the newest one. I think. Okay. Here, so yeah, there's so many uh, of those uh, of those uh, shows and stuff. Speaking of the weather, how's a California kid from Southern California loving this sudden turn into winter? Isn't this fun, Keyshawn? <sighs> Just love it, don't you? It got cold overnight. Yeah, it got yeah. cold during Friday during the day. It was 70 during the day and 40 at night. Yeah, it's not going to get back warm. We're done. We're done. Yeah. We're done till June. I think that's what my coaches said, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, tough for you to – has it been tough adjustment, right? You, 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 you're nah. Not nah, because we, we actually practice outside in the cold, yeah. so you kind of get used to it. But before that, yeah. Yeah, it's Real tough. Cold. I mean, it's tough for all of us when you when you when it plummets thirty degrees in one day. So, well, let's tell you what. Let's talk a little bit football. We're gonna get uh, your your guest over here in a little bit as well. But uh, there was a little bit uh, made this past week about special teams coach. You, you got right, Coach Rich Basaccia. You've known him for a while. He said he said he's had to really preach patience for you this season, waiting for those kick returns because everybody's booming it out of the end zone. You're an All Pro. They don't want to even give you a sliver of of, of of a chance to return one back. How have you gotten to be a little bit more patient? He says you're doing a lot better at that than maybe what you were at the beginning of the year. Because I know it's tough. You're, you want to make a play. You're a playmaker out there. Uh, I think it's just hard because, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> things might not go right. You just want to be the spark for the team. And uh, just having to be patient knowing that they don't want you to be the spark. So just try to put my focus on somewhere else to make a play, whether it's defense or something else. Now, this is going to get back to the weather. That's kind of why I brought it back up. You know what happens when it, gets, when it gets cold at Lambeau Field. Suddenly, yeah. the ball gets a little bit harder to kick out, out of the end zone. All of a sudden, there is going to be opportunities for number 25, right? So as much yeah. as you might not like this cold weather, you're going to be returning some kicks maybe starting uh, on Sunday because it's probably going to be cool again at Lambeau Field. Yeah, I, it, got, I got a little feel for it. This game against Minnesota, the ball was landing right where I wanted to. So the colder it get, the shorter the ball is going to land. That's when I get to be myself. How close are you guys? Because it looks like it looks like you're a block here, a block there. Cause oh, it's always one block away. Yeah, it looks and close, one block doesn't away. it? Yeah. You gotta be excited about how that's starting to form. Uh, even mm -hmm. on, the, on the punt return too, you look close to yeah. maybe taking one. So is, is everything starting to mesh a little bit uh, when it comes to special teams and the returns? Uh, yeah, I think the guys are starting to understand the type of player I am. I don't really, I go for it every time. So they be, you know, they don't gotta worry about it. They know I'm gonna return it. Yeah, what's going to happen? It's, it's getting close. You can kind of feel it. So, hey, Rosie, uh, let's do this. It's time for the Clubhouse Live. No GIF of the night. We're going to do the Clubhouse Live photo of the night. Let's check out the screen up here. This is what we got. Uh, yeah, oh, look at those guys. They're, 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 yeah, they're, they're looking a little long-faced, right? A little frustrated, a little sad. Photo taken by our very own Dan Powers, by the way. He's uh, our mobile camera. He's, he's walking around here somewhere. Uh, one of the uh, field uh, photographers along with Bill Glasheen and Torque Mason as well. But uh, let's do three quick questions. And then we'll get uh, Kenny over here. First, if you listen to the post-game interviews, it seems guys are searching, right, grinding, looking for answers. Uh, even Jair Alexander was a lot of, a lot of uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. He was like a robot uh, repeating himself. So is that even more frustrating for, frustrating for you guys than, than just the losing itself, is just trying to figure this out, like trying to figure out what is going on? Is that uh, the, the most frustrating part about the, this little slump right now? Uh... I think the most frustrating part is just, uh, you know, you, you give it all you want, like you got during the week and study and prepare and then uh, things don't go your way. But at the end of the day, we got 10 more games and we just dwell on it. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be good for us. So we just got to put the game past us. And right now we got the Rams, so we got to focus on that. And we watch film today, just go back on whatever mistakes we made and try not to make them no more so we can put ourselves in a position to win the game. Get a win, get a much needed win uh, with the Rams coming up. Number two. Does this feel like this is a lot of self-inflicted stuff, like your your own worst enemy out there right now? Uh, yeah, I think yeah, because we got a lot of penalties and stuff like that. Um, just a lack of focus that we just gotta you know hone in on and, and just put all our focus on that. Last one for you, uh, Keyshawn. Then we'll take a timeout. Do tonight's stat pack. When you look at the state of the team right now and, and trying to hone in, it, it almost seems like there's a lot going wrong right now and it's just, it almost seems to be overwhelming so how do you hone in on that on, and, and, and stay sharp and stay focused and just kind of start nibbling away here rather than trying to look at the, the whole all encompassing thing right because like I said it seems to be overwhelming so 
how do you uh, keep, keep digging at these issues, getting things cleaned up, number one, and the, number two, as one of the team leaders, what are you telling the guys to make sure that they don't get overwhelmed by this and that you just kind of keep focusing on the little stuff so that it all adds up into, uh, you know, some wins? Uh, <clears throat> I think for, like, talking to the, like, the, vet, the vets on the team, it's like uh, just to remind everybody and understand that, you know, we had a lot of turnover from last year to this year, and uh, – yeah, we got a lot of young guys, but that's not an excuse. Uh, there's a lot of people that come to this league young and produce early. So uh, just trying to encourage our young guys to stop thinking about it as, you know, you're in the NFL and who you're playing against. At the end of the day, they, they got the same 24 hours with you. You know, I've been there before where my first ever career started in the NFL, I was across from Tyreek Hill. And, you know, at the time when I was young, I was so more worried about it being Tyreek Hill instead of, you know, it's just the team we playing against. So I think that's the biggest thing is just understanding for the young guys that you're in the league now and you don't really have time to try to find the feel of the game. You just got to just play football. Do what they've always been doing, right? Yeah. Uh, that's what got you here. That's what you said, yeah, I think a couple weeks ago. So how about K-9 so far? Uh, Keyshawn Nixon, let's take our first time out. And uh, it's time for tonight's stat pack. Now, here's a great stat, Ricardo. Uh, listen, this, uh, this is a pretty good one. Last week, we noted the uh, complete pass that was thrown by Dontavian Wicks, right, uh, against Denver, one of the rookies. Did you know that Wicks is the first rookie non-quarterback to complete a pass for the Packers since running back Willard Harrell in 1975? Me and Gene, you remember Willard Harrell, don't you? You were there for that game. I think you were there. That's according to the Elias Sports Bureau. Uh, of course, Wicks hooked up with Aaron Jones on a 14-yard gain. Harrell spent the first three years of his 10-year uh, NFL career with the, with the Green Bay Packers. I think he went on to uh, the Cardinals as well. So, hey, Ricardo, it's your turn. It's tonight. Uh, we're doing trivia tonight, aren't we? That's right. But before we do our trivia contest, we've got to lay down some of the ground rules. First off, we will ask the question. If you think you know the answer... You got to raise your hand. Don't shout it out. Just raise your hand. And if you're correct, you win what, Brett? Well, we've got this uh, very cool Wisconsin Timber Rattlers patriotic cap and this uh, Whiffer bobblehead courtesy of the Timber Rattlers as well. And we also have one more giveaway uh, from the Timber Rattlers tonight after the show. Well, fantastic. And uh, remember, once you win, you're out for the rest of the show. And sorry, live chatters, you have to be here to win, Brett. Here we go. Uh, Keyshawn. Uh, Help me out here and see who raises his or her hand first. The Packers, of course, just play the Vikings, right? We know that. Uh, speaking of Minnesota, and we don't like to do that too much around here, but which player on the Packers roster played at the University of Minnesota? Right here. Captain. The captain. We'll accept the captain. We'll accept De the captain. Devondre Campbell, come on up and get your prize. We're going to give uh, this Timber Rattlers patriotic cap. Looks like this nice young lady is going to come and pick that out. Devondre Campbell, the captain, our former co-host last year. He was our co-host last year. He is a proud golden gopher. Ricardo, did you see this, by the way? The gophers are tied with Iowa, Nebraska, and Wisconsin for first place Crazy. in the eh, Big Ten West, right? Not the, so the Big Ten meh. Yeah, that, maybe that nah. should be the name of the division instead. So, all right, should we get uh, should we get Kenny Clark up here, folks? You want to see Kenny? Here we go. Our guest tonight is in his eighth NFL season, all with the Packers. He was selected by the Packers in the first round of the 2016 NFL Draft. Our guest tonight has started all seven games so far this season. He has 21 tackles. Four sacks already, how about that? And six quarterback hits. How about Kenny Clark so far? Yeah. Our guest tonight is a two-time Pro Bowler and joins only Pro Football Hall of Famer Henry Jordan and Packers Hall of Famer Dave Hanner as the only defensive tackles in team history with multiple Pro Bowl nods. Take it easy, Kenny, I have more to talk about you. <laughs> Our guest tonight has led or has tied for the lead uh, uh, among Packers defensive linemen and tackles each of his first seven seasons. Our guest tonight is one of just five players in the NFL with at least 40 tackles and multiple sacks in each of the past six seasons. He has 30 and a half sacks now for his career. That's the 19th most and climbing in team history. He's a state champion wrestler. He once scored a touchdown, everybody. He may be the biggest skateboarder you're ever gonna see, Keyshawn, yes. Our guest tonight is a world traveler. He is a father, and once he expressed interest in becoming a coach. We're going to see what that's all about here in a bit. Now we can go, Kenny. How about Green Bay Packers defensive lineman number 97? It's Kenny Clark, everybody. Woo! 
Woo. I tell you what, I am winded after that uh, that resume. A lot of accolades to read. A lot of accolades to read. That's your bash. Should we do it again? Huh? Should I read it again? That, that was long. That was long, wasn't it? You were getting, good, you, you getting a little antsy, a yeah. little anxious right. over here. Now, <laughs> I forgot to remind you, though, but because this is Keyshawn's show and you are Keyshawn's guest, Keyshawn has, uh, has pulled me by the side, insists on asking you the first question of the night. I'm reminding you now that, that that's your duty. <laughs> What's up, Kenny? What's up? Is that your question? Yeah. No, we can do better than that. You must have a better question for number 97. Uh, let me see, let me see. You got one. Should I just ask him something I know he's going to say? You go ahead. Okay, who's, a, who's your favorite kick returner since you've uh, been a Packer? Man. Ah. Keyshawn Nixon. Yeah, there you go, there right? You Keyshawn Nixon. It's got to be Keyshawn Nixon. We'll do that. A couple L.A. guys hanging out here tonight, right, in frigid northeast Wisconsin. So Coach Kenny Clark one day. Man, I was, I was uh, digging in your bios, and I, I think I found that deep in the internet somewhere that you yeah. would express interest. Is, is that still something you're interested in? Yeah, I want to do that one day. Um, you know, I, I do a lot of work with, with high school with with the high school uh, students uh, out in my in my hometown. Uh, so, um, you know, me I, me and my family been been really working on that. Uh, but I can see myself doing it one day. Yeah. So you're thinking high school, you're not thinking college, you're not thinking the pros, right, where they sleep overnight on the couch uh, in the I office? Mean, yeah, I mean, all that type of stuff, uh, yeah, I think I can do that too, but, um, you know, it all depends, but I ain't really thinking about it like that, but, you know. You got some time, I yeah, got you got time, some time. Yeah. Now, would, would Coach Kenny Clark, would he be a yeller and a screamer and just kicking and, and, and just mad at everybody, or would he be a little bit more relaxed, more nah, calm? Nah, yeah, more relaxed. Yeah, more, yeah, more relaxed, uh, you know, I, I, I'd be a pretty good coach. Okay, well, what do you think, Coach Kenny Clark, right? You like that? I would be excited to see that. Yeah, maybe a future Packers coach. You never know. <laughs> you never know. We'll see. So the last time, Kenny, you visited us, I looked this up, was back in December of 2021. It's been a couple years already. Mm. I'm not sure why you haven't visited us, other than it was probably because of Chicago Bears fan Ricardo Aguero. I know you don't like him very much. <laughs> you were at our previous location. MVS was the co-host, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, now with the Chiefs. First of all, do you guys still rip on each other like you, like you do? Like you uh, did back then. Yeah, nah, we talk all the time. But uh, yeah, we, yeah, we, me, and, me and Quest talk like almost every other day, huh? really. Yeah, we talk he, all the time. He wasn't very nice to you. He wasn't very nice <laughs> nah, to you. He, nah, he, he just, I mean, it was all, you know, it was all just fun and games. But uh, nah, Quest is a good dude. Uh, always, we always, we talk all the time. It's cool. Yeah, he's doing good things over there with the Chiefs. But since your last visit now, now if my math is correct, you have become a father since then, right? Mm hmm. Two-year-old little daughter, is that? Yeah, she's two now. Two years old now, yeah. how about that? Uh, fatherhood for uh, Kenny Clark. So let's do three questions about that. Number one, how has fatherhood changed your life? Man, it's, it's changed a lot. Uh, you know, just the energy and effort, you know, that you gotta give to, um, you know, your child and, you know, you know to, in order to raise them and raise them the right way. Uh, you know, it's been, it's been, it's been a blessing. Um, and it's, it's taught me a lot about myself. Question number two, what is more, uh, more difficult to handle, a, a tough 300-pound offensive lineman or a really stinky diaper? Now, come on. <laughs> come on now. I, see, I, I don't mind the diapers. Like, I'll I, I just, I'll go ahead, just, I, I'll change it. I, I wasn't tripping by the diapers. I'm not sure Keyshawn's a good, uh, believe in that <laughs> one. He's like, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> You're not liking those diapers, are you? <laughs> Hey, by the way, has your daughter met uh, young KJ over there? Maybe they could be uh, hanging they've been, out. They've been together all weekend. Have they? Yeah, they've been together all weekend. Best friends, right? Yep. Best friends. And third, now let's fast forward this 14 years, all right? This, we're 14 years into the future. How intimidating will you choose to be when she brings home a boyfriend, right? Uh, all of no. a sudden, there's, there's big Kenny Clark. You could have a lot of fun with this, Kenny Clark. And you could just stare that guy through his heart, through his soul. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. Oh, I'm gonna, yeah. yeah, I'm definitely gonna have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her a hard time, I'm gonna give him a hard time. I, I, I can't wait for that day, I ain't gonna lie. You mentioned that, Keyshawn, all of a sudden this poor little kid comes over and there's a <laughs> big Kenny Clark saying, I want my daughter home by 10 o'clock. 9.30. 9.30, even earlier. Yes. 8.30. Now we're going down to 8.30. Before you know it, you're not gonna be allowed to, uh, she, she's can't not, even go. Can't even go, or you'll go with them. Yeah, I might have yeah. to. I, you never know. You never yeah. know. Chaperone. 
<laughs> those, those poor unsuc- uh, unsuspecting boys, right? So any plans to take her trick-or-treating? Probably a little young, right? No, nah, yeah, nah, she, uh, we going, we going uh, trick-or-treating. Um, it's going to be a little cold, though, but probably just walk around the block. And, and that's it? Yeah, that's it, yeah. She's two years old. She's going to get you a lot of candy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to eat a lot of candy t- tomorrow, too. I'm, yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna be for her. <laughs> are you going to the bash tonight? And uh, what are you gonna be dressed as if you if you are? I'm probably I'm I'm just gonna wear just a, a hoodie and a clown mask, honestly. <laughs> such a, such, such creativity, <laughs> just, yeah, for, yeah. for Ricardo. I I, I got yeah, I'm just wearing you know just a little clown mask. Simple, simple, simple. Yeah, simple. simple. Keep it simple, <laughs> stupid, right? Keep it simple, stupid. So, uh, well, how about uh, speaking of? Uh, this is for both you guys. Speaking of the get together a little bit later tonight, at, uh, I'm guessing it's at Lambo. How beneficial is that right now? Just to get the guys, I'll ask you this first, Keyshawn, just get, get away from football a little bit. Just get the guys together having a little bit of fun and maybe just forgetting things right now. How beneficial do you think that'll be for, for the team? Uh, it's just like a, a, a refresh button, uh, white ball, whatever happened bad yesterday, just let it go and have a fun time with the guys that you see every day and then come back to work on Wednesday ready to go. How about you, Kenny? I mean, it's got to be just a nice little break, right? Uh, how refreshing is going to be, like Keyshawn said, just to hit that reset button, get away from football for a while. Yeah, it's always uh, good to do that. You know, anytime you, you know, you're, you're around the guys and, you know, y'all are just hanging out, um, you know, it's always a good time. And it's, it's a good, good way to unplug and, you know, relax a little bit, uh, you know, going into a hard week. Any coaches invo- invited to this thing, Keyshawn, or is this players only? I really don't know. Nah, just play, yeah, players only. Yeah, players, players only. only. Yeah, it probably would be a little awkward if coaches are coming in wearing weird stuff because then you might be talking about them behind their backs and they don't <laughs> even know what you're, know that they're wear, they're wearing all these masks. So, Keyshawn, give us a little something that we need to know about Kenny Clark, right? You've been teammates with him now for two years, even though he's uh, one of the best at uh, at his position in in the NFL. He's kind of a quiet guy, right? To unassuming, yeah. uh, doesn't seek the limelight. We need some stuff uh, about Kenny Clark, and, and the more embarrassing, the better. I don't really got nothing embarrassing about Casey, but uh, what I can say is when I when I got here, uh, like you said, he, he's not much of a talker, but he's a great leader and he shows that by the way he attacks the day, the way he goes about his business at work, and uh, just the way he practices. Uh, it's a good it's a good learning curve for like a guy when I came here. I I feel like I was just leaving like my young stage in the NFL and I was kind of growing up in my fourth year when I got here last year, and uh, he was one of the guys that helped me just take the next step to be a pro. Very nice, uh, boy. He took it easy on you because I was looking for some. I was looking for some <laughs> dirt on Kenny Clark, but instead he went. He took the high road. Well, I tell you what. Before uh, I've got something else about Kenny uh, that Keyshawn. I think you're going to be interested in. But uh, bef- besides, and we talked about this when you were on a couple years ago, being a great skateboarder, right? Can oh, you yeah. imagine this guy on a skateboard, yeah. rolling down uh, in in the in the Los Angeles San Bernardino area, right? <laughs> and besides being a state champion. High school wrestler, you probably knew that, right? Yeah, too, and that. using that wrestling background to, to help uh, being a, d- a defensive lineman, he also might have some of the best hands on the team. Hey, uh, Rosie, let's check out the video of Kenny. Cl- there's Kenny Clark, UCLA. Oh, Look at this, and there's uh, a touchdown by Kenny Clark. How about that? Look at that. Hey. Look at that. Hey. I'll tell you, they didn't give me one of the package key, uh, Keyshawn I got. Why are, those, hey. why are you not out on the field a little bit more, uh, Kenny? I, I got to put it in his ear. I'm gonna put it in his ear. What do you think? Be a coach. No, you're the coach. Uh, critique that, right? You look pretty good. Look real smooth, <laughs> Keyshawn. I'm, I'm not putting my D tackle out there on offense. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Well, listen. How about you guys together, right? You ran 11 yards on a carry. Now he's a threat to catch the ball. I mean, the defenses won't have any clue what's going. Matt Lafleur needs to put that in the playbook. You should ask him. Well, bring him on. Why not? not? Bring, bring, bring the coach on to the show next time. Yeah, I'm going to ask him to see what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, right. I tell you what, though, you remember that play, uh, well, with Josh Rosen was your quarterback back then, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You knew the ball was coming to you. What were oh, you yeah, thinking? That heart must have been pounding. Those eyes must have been just wide. Ca- don't drop it. That's it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't drop it. Just don't drop You'll it. You'll never get another one again. <laughs> <laughs> tell you what, he put it in a good spot for you, too, right? Sometimes those quarterbacks can maybe sail yeah. a little bit too high, but it, right in the breadbasket. Yep. Well, Kenny, how about this? We're still getting to know Keyshawn. Keyshawn and Josiah DeGore, our co hosts this year, our dual co hosts, but we're still getting to know K9 a little bit. How about you give us something about Keyshawn that we need to know? And again, the more embarrassing, the better. <laughs> embarrassing. Um, <is> crazy. <laughs> I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing really embarrassing. Uh, 
but I would I would say the same thing, just you know the other way around. It's a guy that you know I watched really you know growing to you know who he is, really growing to a pro. Um, you know someone that um, he and he he's truly one of the leaders on the team. Also, just how he he I felt like he brought the team you know even more together. You know when he first got here, and um, you know that's been that's been huge you know for us. You know what I'm saying just being able to to have that cohesion with each other and uh, for us to play harder, you know, for each other. So um, this is somebody that I watch, you know, really grow into to his role and to who he is. How about that, right? Uh, growing into his role, doing good stuff. Well, how about this? You're a defensive lineman. Take us on the field. What is something that we would be surprised to learn about life as a defensive lineman, right? It's a thankless position. There's yeah, a lot, uh, lot going on, a lot, of, a lot of trash talk, a lot of weird stuff going on. It, it, it's not much talking. Um, you know, it's hard, to, it's hard to talk when you, you know, you got one guy <laughs> hitting you and the next guy hitting you. Uh, so, um, it's, you know, it's a, it's a tough job. And sometimes it, it is, it is uh, thankless. Um, but it's one of those positions where, you know, you got to just be a dog, you know. Like, it, every game is, you know, the team is depending on you. Uh, to 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 wreck it, to, you know, to to, to be disruptive. Um, so you know that's the big that's the biggest thing you know about that position is, um, you know, it's one of those positions where you know you got to be disruptive, you got to be strong, fast, elusive. You got to have a little bit of everything. So I think next game you should do a little trash talking out there. A little right? trash talking. Let's do that. Just you got you got to understand when you trash talk, you be tired. Yeah, you get even more tired. Like more tired. <laughs> For the next play. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Save your energy. You got to. Yeah. Don't, don't be wasting energy doing that stuff, right? Yeah. That, that's a, that is a tough job going against those big, strong guys. Well, how about this for both of you guys? Keisha, I'll start with you. How about just life in general as a professional football player? What would we be surprised to know? Maybe it's not as, as, as glamorous as people kind of make it out, right? There's a lot of travel, a lot of hotels, a lot of uh, maybe some weird food you got to eat. Uh, just uh, what, what is life like as a, as a pro football player? Uh... I think it's challenging depending on uh, your living situations with, with, with your family and stuff like that. I know for me, uh, during the year, I stay in Green Bay by myself, so I'm away from my kids for seven months out of the year. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think that's the most challenging part because they're in school and uh, just having to be like kind of like a FaceTime dad for some, some parts and trying to not feel bad for me and understand that it's for them, you know? Right. And they're not going to understand right now, so I just try to spend as much time with them as I can. How about you, Kenny? What what is uh, what would we, from your vantage point, be surprised to learn about uh, life as a as a professional athlete? Man, it's just it's 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 forever going. You know, it's you know the off season. Um, you know, it's 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 really nonstop. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I think a lot of you know a lot of people think you know, I mean, yeah, the money is good and all that, but it's it's a lot of work that that going to each week. It's a lot of work that going to. Uh, to each year, you know what I'm saying, and, and it's a toll. It's, it's definitely a toll on our bodies. So, you're right. Yeah, um, you're right. It's always off season. It's a lot of yeah. yeah. It's a lot of work. I think it's hard emotionally too. Mm -hmm. It's like so much stuff you gotta compact with and separate your outside life to, from your football life. People don't. I don't think people understand that. It's like you can be dealing with a lot of things, um, and then when you get in the football building, that's all you gotta focus on. You can't worry about nothing that's going outside of here because you gotta handle your business inside the building. That's a tough job. Everybody only sees those, those three hours, three and a half hours on Sunday, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. It's all encompassing uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 12 months out of the year. It just never stops. But, uh, well, Kenny, I, I'll ask you this kind of like I asked Keyshawn. We'll talk a little football. You're one of the team leaders, obviously. What are you telling the guys right now in the locker room? Uh, how, are you, how are you keeping their heads up, their hopes high? How are you keeping the things from kind of fracturing and snowballing out of control right now? Man, uh, really just taking it week to week, you know? Um, and you know, it's it's all about at the end of the day, it's all about the work. It's all about the preparation, and um, you, you know, just how much you giving you giving you giving the game. You know what I'm saying? At, at practice, um, you know, in, in the film, um, not only when you're in the building, when you're outside of the building, uh, just you know, just telling the guys just to just keep reminding them. You know, that's what it's all about, and it's, and, and it's all about the process of that. And um, you know, we got we had a lot of bumps. You know, we got we having a lot of bumps right now, but um, th things are progressing, you know what I'm saying, and, and that's what you want to see. And as long as we continue to do that, you know what I'm saying, we're going to be where we, where we want to be. I'll ask both of you guys this too. Keyshawn, start with you. It, it's got to be tough though, right, because as you struggle, 
it's kind of the natural reaction to try harder. Mm -hmm. But you can press by doing that, right? You can put more pressure on yourself rather than just going out there and doing what you know how to do. So how do you guard against that? And uh, I would guess, I'm guessing that's another lesson for some of these younger guys in particular, just ease up a little bit, relax. You know, we're going to get this uh, right rather than press, press, try harder. And then ultimately you end up making more mistakes when you do that. Uh, yeah, just like Kenny said, take it week by week. But it even goes like lower than that. And you take it like, you know, day by day. And then on game day, you take it play by play. You know what I'm saying? You, you can give up a catch on second down, but you still got to play third down. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't dwell on something that already happened. You got to just be like, okay, forget about it next play. If you have to feel like you had a next play mentality, you'd be all right. Same thing, Kenny, but just, just pressing maybe some of the guys that uh, you interact with, are you, you kind of telling them just to relax a little bit? And Yeah, I mean, the more, the more you press, I feel like the worse, the worse like, you can play. Like, I know for myself, in my experience, like the, the more I think, is, is I, that's when I'm playing bad. Yeah, like I like to play fast. Um, and I don't like to think when I'm out there. I like to be more like reactive and um, like yeah, when you're out there, you know that's how you that's how you gotta play. So um, yeah, pressing and you know having to think and stuff about you know about everything. You know that's never that's never a good uh, recipe for success for sure. What about the penalty situation right now? Right, 11 for 99 against the Vikings. Uh, how do you fix that issue? How do you, how do you just, because that's more of a, it's not a physical issue, right? Is that more of a mental thing right now? Yeah, penalties? I mean, it's just, you know, it's just, it's just reps, you know, and, and you know, something that you got to just focus on, you know, um, whether it's, you know, whether it's jumping off sides, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, you holding somebody, um, if it's a pass interference, whatever the case may be, just, it's practice, you know, just constantly, uh, each, each and every play, you know, like Keyshawn said, uh, every single play, you know, you just focusing on that one thing and, and you know, having to lock in. A couple penalties yesterday, though. I, I'll, I'll say it for the guys because I don't want them to get in trouble. You know, the NFL is not going to find me anything because I don't have any money to pay the NFL. That one on Rashawn Gary, that, that uh, roughing the pass, that, that's, that, that, that's <laughs> bogus, right? Uh, I think you guys all agree, right, me and Gene? Uh, that was ridiculous. <laughs> and then a little bit earlier in the game, Jonathan Owens, uh, I think, was called for. I mean, what, what did he do? He just he hit the guy right, right with the shoulder. I think, uh, whatever. It was it was it was not a good crew. Let's just put it that way. And I said it. Come after me, NFL. These guys didn't say a thing. Back to the show. Back to the script. Jordan Love after the game, quote, "I feel like we're right there." End quote. We talked about this last week with, jo with uh, Josiah as well. And Keishan, I'll start with you. Is that how you feel too? I mean, you look at. Other than the loss to the Lions, every game, right? Uh, the Falcons, the Broncos, the Raiders, you were right there. Even yesterday, you had opportunities this close to really getting back into it and making it interesting. So do you feel like you're that close? You feel like everything's just right there? Uh, yeah, I, I believe that we're, we're, we're really close. But um, at the end of the day, I feel like I can only control what I can control uh, on whatever side of the ball that I'm playing at. And uh, I just think uh, people go through struggles on, on sides of the balls, and it's something that you just have to rally on as a team and then as a side of the ball. You know, if our offense is struggling, they have to rally together. And if our defense is struggling, you know, we got to look each other in the eye and hold each other accountable and tell each other, like, you know, it's time to step it up. And um, those guys are just trying to learn themselves at the end of the day. Um, it's kind of just like, treat, like teaching a baby how to walk, you know, stumble until you really get it. Then you can start from walking to run. So I think they're, they're, they're walking fast or not. I feel like they're, yeah, they're getting over the hump when I start running. Getting, uh, getting more stable, right, uh, as a baby learns to walk. Same with you, Kenny. Is it, is it close in your eyes? Is, is it, you're right there? Uh, yeah, because it's, it's so many more plays to be made, you know. Um, I know, you know, just speaking defensively, you know, um, you know we, get tackle, we get tackles on third down. Um, you know, we, we win our one-on-ones. You know, do what, do what we're supposed to do. And, you know, it's, it's a dominant, you know, performance, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, it, it, like all this stuff go hand in hand and it's a, it's a thing where, you know, we, we got to, everybody just got to lock in at the end of the day. So, um, yeah. So. A few more questions with Kenny and, the, and Keyshawn and then Ricardo, it's your turn for tonight's social media question of the night. You said earlier, uh, Kenny, that uh, I was reading an article about you uh, doing my uh, research. Some people call it creeping. I call it research. <laughs> Uh, you haven't reached your potential yet and that you still have more to unlock. Now, that's interesting, right? You're one of the best, again, in the league at your position. You're a two-time Pro Bowler. 
what else is out there for you for you to accomplish? What what, what more is there to unlock here? Kenny? Uh, so much more, man. I just I, I just feel like you know, um, you know, I, I played nose, you know, majority of my career, and I feel like um, you know I was, if not the best, you know, one of the best at, at the position, and uh, you know I'm, I'm still continuing to I'm moving I move a little bit more to three. I moved a little bit more to the big end, and um, you know I still feel like it's just it's just more you know out there for me. As far as you know, pass rushing wise, and I feel like I'm showing that as far. I mean, uh, so far this year, so um, you just gotta keep doing what I'm doing, stay locked in, uh, stay focused, and um, just continue to improve. Obviously, in your position, stopping the run is always what everybody thinks of first. But how much pride have you taken in being a pretty darn good uh, pass rusher? Right, 30 and a half career sacks already for you. Yeah, uh, you know, I take a lot of pride in it because you know, in college, I, I never, I feel like I only had like. A, I only had two sacks in my whole college career, oh, wow. okay. and uh, coming into the league, you know, I wasn't I wasn't really known as a, as a pass rusher. Um, so, you know, it's something that I, I continuously just uh, worked on every off season, and you know, I'm still I'm still learning, I'm still getting getting better at it. Um, so, uh, it's yeah, I'm, I'm definitely happy about it because it's a thing that I really you know focused on uh, year after year, and it's been working out for me. A run stopper, a disruptor, right? Getting in the backfield, making life miserable for the quarterback. So last thing for you, Kenny, and then uh, again, our social media question of the night coming up. This past off season, uh, you made some some trips, right? You're an international traveler now. You you got you need, you need a passport for all the traveling you're doing. You went to Argentina and Brazil, right? How about that? So what was that experience like for you? What did you see and do in those countries? And what's left on the bucket list for the international traveler, Kenny Clark? Uh. Man, it was it was an amazing time, man. Um, I would say Brazil is one of the most beautiful you know places I've ever ever been. Uh, the food, um, just you know, all the beaches, just everything was was beautiful. Uh, you know, just really was just just getting away. You know what I'm saying? And man, hanging out with my friends. Uh, you know, got a chance to see a lot of things. Uh, seen the big statue out there and. Uh, you know, all that stuff, just a lot of sightseeing and just, you know, relaxing and getting away, getting away. It was it was pretty cool. Um, what's next on the list? I'll probably say St. Torini. I want to go there in Greece. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I want to I see what that's about. I always heard, like, a lot of good things about it, so. Interesting. You yeah. going to take Keyshawn with you? <laughs> might, we might have to go on a little trip. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We might, you know. I tell you yeah. what, why don't you go? Well, take me and Ricardo with with all you guys. Ah, yeah. yeah. We hang out together, do some international traveling. <laughs> The four of us, right? Doesn't that sound like fun? Uh, Keyshawn? Yeah? yeah? No? I think it sounds great. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting for you to say. Yeah. How about the guys tonight so far here in uh, Clubhouse Live? Okay, Ricardo. It's your turn. It's uh, tonight's social media question of the night. What do you have? That's right. This is from Nancy uh, Bollier on Facebook. She wants to know, Kenny, what was your dad's reaction and feelings about being at Lambeau Field and being able to see you play, and what were your feelings about having your dad there? Great yeah, question. Uh, that's a great question. Um, man, he was so he was so excited. Um, just just to see the 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 smile on his face, and uh, he he met a lot of a lot of my teammates, um, and, and you know met most of the staff um, at the at the facility, and. Um, you know, he was just—he was just—I don't, I don't know. I'm just lost for words, honestly. He's just—it it was crazy. It was crazy. Um, you know, and and he made it even better. I got a sack up there, uh, and you know, it was—it was dope. It was dope to to see, dope to experience. Um, in my in my lifetime, I never thought I'd have my dad back back at home. So, you know, for for him to come and be able to be here, it was it was, it was dope. Great question, and uh, for folks that want to know a little bit more about, yeah, you guys can clap, sure. <laughs> want to know a little bit more about that story, just Google it. Uh, there are a number of articles written about uh, you and your dad finally being able to, to see you play some football, and that, that, that's good stuff. For having her question selected, Nancy wins a signed photo. Each week we'll ask you to submit a question for our co-host or guest that we'll ask live during Monday's show. Again, look for it on Facebook.com slash Clubhouse Live. Uh, and by the way, stick around after the show. As you can kind of see, we've got some prizes to give away. We've got this great Mean Gene bobblehead, everybody, right? Our unofficial mascot. We've also got this Packers dashboard bobble. They're all courtesy of our friends at Bobbles Galore. Bobbles Galore is your source for the largest selection of bobbleheads you will find anywhere. That includes a great selection of Packers, Brewers, and Bucks bobbleheads. Shop BobblesGalore.com today. 
They're probably going to make a Damian Lillard Bucks bobblehead, I would think. They're probably busy doing that. So trivia question number two, Ricardo, you're asking. That's right. right? And I need you and uh, Keyshawn and Kenny to look out in the crowd to make sure we see who raises their hand first. Here's the question. Since tomorrow is Halloween, we thought we'd look back on that memorable Halloween night matchup in 94 when the Packers took on my Bears in a monsoon-like conditions at Soldier Field. Green Bay earned the 33-6 win that night behind three rushing touchdowns from this running back. Hint, he wore number 34. Mm, way back there, I see against the window. Come on up, you got it right. It is Edgar Bennett. Remember him? You get the bell. You get the uh, Whiffer bobblehead. Keyshawn will let you give him the Whiffer bobblehead. Edgar Bennett, always known Ricardo as a mutter. Always loved those types of conditions. Mutter. He scored on runs of 3, 1, and 13 yards that the Packers rushed for 223 yards overall that night. Bennett, a Packers uh, Hall of Famer, currently uh, the wide receivers coach for the Las Vegas Raiders. Many years as an assistant coach here in Green Bay as well. Hey, Rosie, we need some music because it is t time for tonight's Clubhouse Live Challenge. Here we go. Carol first and Sam Pollock, would you please come to the front of the stage here and this is what we're gonna do. Guys, we're gonna do a physical challenge tonight, okay? Now I'm going to, uh, here right in front of the stage, Carol, you're good. I'm gonna get you guys some material here because it is a Halloween type show. Kenny Clark, you have this. And Keyshawn Nixon, you have this, all right? Now, this is, this is what we're going to do. This, this game is called I Want My Mummy. It's October. Halloween is tomorrow night, guys. It's time to scoop things up here in the show. The object of the game is simple. You have 45 seconds, 45 seconds to wrap your playing partner up as a mummy. That's all you got to do, all right? 45 seconds. You have to move fast, but you have to move carefully. Now, now check this out, guys. The best-looking mummy will be voted upon by our audience based on their applause, okay? They're going to choose which mummy looks the best. The mummy with the loudest cheer wins. Now, this is, again, Keyshawn, that's your playing partner, Carol. Kenny, you've got Sam, all right? And you do have a taller playing partner, so you're going to have to be creative here. The prizes tonight, this is what you, you can win. The winner is going home. It's getting cold outside. We have some cool Packers socks, courtesy of Shields. We have a signed photo of K-9, right, uh, Keyshawn Nixon. And check it out, a USA Today Network Wisconsin ice scraper for your car. They love it. They love it. They love it. The runner-up tonight goes home with everything except the socks. So somebody else is going to go home with these cool ice scrapers, right? I mean, it's getting cold outside. So here you go. So guys, you want to kind of step around, use as much of this material as you can. Ricardo, are you going to keep track of the time over there? How long is it, a minute? 45 seconds. 45 seconds, okay. 45 seconds to wrap the mummy up, your playing part. Maybe you guys want to introduce yourself real quick. Keyshawn, this is Carol. Nice to meet you. Kenny, that's Sam. Nice to meet you guys, right? Uh, there we go. Kenny's already strategizing. Who thinks uh, Keyshawn and Carol are winning tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Who thinks Kenny and Sam are winning the... the All right. On my count, Ricardo. Three, two, one. Wrap up your mummies. Rosie, how about some music through this thing? Now be careful with the spinning, please. We don't want too many dizziness, Ricardo. Ricardo, how are we doing with time? Ricardo, how are we doing with time? 30 seconds. 30 seconds to go. Remember, you have as much material as you need here at the desk. Come on, let's hear you guys. Uh, let's uh, fire up the uh, contestants here. Go! Oh. Okay. A lot 15. on the line. How much? 15. 15 seconds, guys. Here we go. 10. Count it nine, down, Ricardo. 8. Oh, boy. 7. 6. 5. Four, three, two, one. Ah. All right, that's it. That is it. Time is up. Time is up. Carol and Sam, if you want, Carol, are you okay, Carol? You look dizzy. Are you okay? Somebody help Carol, please. Her husband instead is just taking pictures of her rather than coming to her aid. That's okay. Okay, so here we go, audience. It's up to you. We'll start with Carol. Let's hear your round of applause for that. How, what do you guys think?
<laughs> there you go. Okay, and how about Sam? Ricardo? I think it's Sam. Is this the Xavier uh, cross country coach right yes. here? Yes. Yeah, I think uh, he is the winner tonight. How about a round of applause, Sam? You're going home with the socks. The signed photo and uh, your ice scraper. Congratulations to you. Carol, you have these uh, great uh, prizes as well. There you go. You can uh, leave that stuff on the floor. We'll, uh, we'll pick it up after the show. So there you go. Huh? It doesn't get much more fun than that, guys, right? It does not get better than that. Kenny, what are you thinking? You never did this on your radio show, did you? Uh, no, nah, I didn't do this. I got to take this home. I got I to wrap my daughter up now. Wrap her up. <laughs> There's your costume. You want to <laughs> yeah. take that home? Go ahead. We got it at the dollar oh, store. Okay. That's all our budget can afford right now, Ricardo. So, All right, here we go. Uh, before we get to our high school team of the week, uh, because you're a great sport, friend of the show, always love uh, seeing you and, and hang out with you in, in your visits, we've got some prizes for you, for you, uh, uh, Kenny, some, some stuff for your man cave. You got to have a man cave at home, right? Yeah, yeah, I got a man cave. Trophies, pictures Trophies. of yourself, giant posters where you just look at yourself <laughs> all the time when you walk in. Yep. Well, this is, you're going to have a couple more photos. This is from yesterday. Put it on the screen, Rosie. This is a great photo. No, uh, is that? Okay, we'll do that one, sure. There you go. There's Kenny Clark uh, living it up after a big sack. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Showing some of them. I think that's how you would be as a coach. I, I don't think you would be as chill as you think you are. You'd be screaming like that, right? Yeah, that's Look at you. That's a great picture of you. And, uh, yeah, you were right, Rosie. Uh, here's the next one. This is from yesterday's game. This is like the defense doing its work. Look at Kenny there leading the charge against the Minnesota Vikings. You got Devondre Campbell. You got Rashawn Gary there in the background. That's a great picture as well. So those are for you. Appreciate it. Keisha, we got to get you some pictures sometime, too, and, uh, and, yeah. and take those home. But, uh, Kenny, I look forward, as always, to the invite so we can look at those pictures together sometime at your house. <laughs> All right. We can, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we can do that. Do that. <laughs> All right, Ricardo, uh, I think it's time. It's your turn. Uh, we uh, have very special members of our audience tonight. We have some state champions. Why don't you introduce them? Not just state champion, two-time state champion, back-to-back. -back. We're talking about the Xavier girls cross country team. We can have you stand up, please. And Coach Pollock, the mummy. Coach Pollock, come on. Uh, there they are. Brett, this past Saturday, I was actually there. I was honored to watch them win uh, the WIA Division II state title. Uh, at the Wisconsin, uh, or I should say the WIA State meet at Wisconsin Rapids. The Ridges, yep. That's right. Hawks finished with 75 points, Brett. That easily outdistanced the rest of the D2 field in winning that second state championship. Brett, I'm going to name off the seven runners who competed. Do it. So we have Lily, Lily Fouts, Annalise Minorek, Hannah Linsmeyer, Joy Crawl, Laura, Lauren Erickson, sorry, sorry, Raina, Raina Lambie, and Ellie crawl correct did i get that all right yes thank you girls for coming down to the show congratulations and brett and coach coach pollock girls gonna be driving for a three-peat possibly there we go i like the confidence brett but yes on the spot your for heaven's two sake. time division two state champion girls cross country how team. about that yes congratulations the hawks back to back high school team of the week Ricardo, any audience questions tonight? What was that again? Any audience questions tonight? No, we did not. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep moving. We should ask Coach if uh, it was more thrilling to win a state championship or winning the Mummy Contest, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Well, put him on the spot right now. I don't know. Well, what, what was better, Coach? The state champion. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That hurts. You cut us deep. Understandable. All right. Uh, let's Thank you. Thank you, girls. Let's wind down here. Yep, congratulations again to Xavier. Thanks for joining us tonight. But, guys, uh, we are wrapping up. I know you got to get going, get back to, to, to Title Town for that to Halloween bash. But hey, I want to get your thoughts. How about your teammate, Rashawn Gary? Did you guys see that? Uh, he's going to stay in Green Bay for a while. Very rich man now. Big money. Big money. He's, making, he's making our money now. Regardless. Yes, he's exactly. He's making our money, right? Yeah. That's the kind of money we make for doing this show. Kenny Clark. Keyshawn Nixon, uh, what, do you, what do you think of your, your, your teammate? Uh, well-deserved, right, Kenny, for uh, Rashawn Gary? Man, well-deserved. Uh, somebody that come in every single day and, and gives his all to, to, to the organization. And, um, you know, somebody that you, that you definitely can count on, you know, day in and day out. You know, and um, 
just extremely uh, proud of him and uh, happy for his family. And, um, you know, it was, it, it was, it's going to be, I mean, it's a great, you know, great day for him and yeah, his family. It's awesome. Your thoughts, Keyshawn, on uh, Rashawn? Not only that, but just fighting his way back quickly yeah, after yeah, that ACL, I'm right? just happy for him. Uh, you know, I saw him all offseason working hard just to get back to where he was before he got hurt. And uh, I think he's the same player or not even. He's better now after the injury. And I think it's worth, he's worth every dollar he got. And I'm happy for him. More importantly, uh, you going to maybe uh, say, hey, dinner's on him next time you guys oh, are yeah. all hanging oh, out, right? For yeah, sure, for sure. Yeah. A couple sure. dinners. A couple yeah. dinners at <laughs> least. Yeah. yeah, a couple dinners. A couple dinners. I think he can handle it. Uh, also, uh, I wanted to ask you both, you, especially with Kenny being here, but you guys are both such uh, very community-oriented, right? Uh, you've done a lot of uh, stuff in the community. Keyshawn, you're doing that now, too, in your time in Green Bay. Why is that so important for you guys to give back? Start with you again, Kenny. Uh, you know, just... It's huge, man. Like I, I didn't have, I didn't have that growing up. I didn't have, um, you know, high school camps. You know, being able to go and you know see, uh, you know, Kenny Clark or Keyshawn Nixon at, at a camp. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't have that growing up. So, I think, um, you know, the more you can, you can get out and, you know, show these kids that, you know, I, I'm just like you. I grew up in these same, in these same areas and was raised, you know, you know, raised the same way, just like you. And you know I made it out, and and I'm doing what I'm doing, and you can do that too. Uh, and being able to just shake their hands, and you know them being able to see me in person, uh, I know it means a lot to those kids. So um, you know I'm gonna keep doing that and keep on trying to you know improve my community. Very nice. How about you, Keyshawn? Same thing. Uh, I think it's for me. It's just like seeing like the kids that that grew up just like you, or in the same areas and stuff like that, or even kids anywhere. Uh, I think people see professional athletes and. As a young age, you know, everybody's nervous and excited. And just to be able to reach, like, hands and stuff like that, I think it's big for a lot of people. So just whether it's in Green Bay or whether it's in L.A., like where we're from, um, just seeing kids smile and just be happy to be around us is, is a good feeling because, you know, I got kids. And it, so me, I don't have to just make my kids happy. I make other people happy, too. And I think that's a big thing for me. Well, the guys giving back to the community. That's always great using their platform. <laughs> Last thing. Matt LaFleur, he said, now we're going we're gonna to find out what this team is made of, right? That, that was one of his quotes. Uh, you got the Rams coming up on Sunday. When you guys look around in the locker room and you, and you see those faces, you see your teammates, Keyshawn, what is this team made of right now? What, what, do, you think, uh, what do you think you're going to see uh, when it comes um, to that? Well, I mean, we're going to see. Uh, you know, we're going to see who, who step up and, and show up to whatever – our coach had to say, and we're gonna step up to the opportunity, or we're gonna see who don't step up. Um, the, the the play on the field gonna show it. So you guys gonna see. Y'all gonna know how to answer that. Okay, Kenny. Uh, same thing. Uh, what, what do you see in the locker room? What is the team made of? Man, um, I mean, uh, for the same way. Like you know, you gonna see what you know what everybody's made of, and um, you know only the tough you know survive these times. You know. And uh, you definitely gotta, you definitely gotta be tough, you know, going through this. And um, and while we trying to get a, you know, a, a, another, I mean, get a win, you know, getting getting the win column. So um, you know, it's a huge week, and uh, you know, we gotta we gotta be well prepared uh, for a really good Rams team. And um, you know, we gotta execute on Sunday at the end of the day. There we go. All right, uh, two leaders right here. They're gonna make sure that uh, the guys are focused and ready to go. How about uh, Kenny Clark and Keyshawn Nixon tonight, everybody? A big round of applause for them. All right, Ricardo, we're going up north. Speaking speaking of the Packers Rams game, who are you predicting will win the game? Brett, I've picked the Packers to win the last two weeks. You listening to me, Mean Gene? I'm gonna pick them again to win this week as well by a field goal, Brett. You're doing reverse psychology, hey, aren't on, you? Come on, give me some cheers. <laughs> Kenny and Keyshawn, they're laughing at you right now. That's fine. They're laughing. Uh, at it's, it's my little suspicion thing going they on. Wanted, here. Uh, Kenny's going to show you how he was a, a state champion wrestler on his way out. Uh, <laughs> you, you know that that's going to happen. Well, usually I go with the victory visor, but we need to change things up, right? We need some better juju. So how about the victory cap tonight? Uh, I'm going to put that on the on my head. Look at that. How do you guys like it? What do you guys think? I look good in a cap, don't I? I look like a Packer. I look like an athlete, don't I? <laughs> yes, thank you. Finally, he agrees with me. I'm saying Packers 23, Rams 17. Uh, Rams really look bad against the Cowboys. How about Matthew Stafford? We don't know his situation, right? Is it some uh, ligament damage, I think, in his uh, right throwing thumb? So is he going to play? 
It's simple, right? You clean up your mistakes because as we talked about, you're that close. You just clean up your mistakes, you're going to win this game, right? They're going to uh, finally emerge with a victory, and uh, we're going to forget about this losing streak, and we're going to have some fun next week. Packers get a W to snap the skid. Ricardo, Packers News app. That's right, with exclusive commentary, insider analysis, and award-winning photos and videos from USA Today Network, Wisconsin's Packers coverage team. Hey, Brett, that Packers News app, your one-stop shop. For complete coverage of the Green Bay Packers, unlimited digital access to the Packers News app, and PackersNews.com can be yours for as low, get this, 99 cents a month. That's it. The first month. Please subscribe today, Brett, because you know we need that money. We need it every single cent, right? Thanks again to our sponsors and friends. First, our presenting sponsors. Thank you to Cellcom and Packerland Home Improvement. We also want to thank our segment sponsors, Bobbles Galore and Munoz and Fam Family and Cosmetic Dentistry. And finally, thank you to our supporting sponsors and friends, Shields, Escort Limousine Service, Cooney's Embroidery and Sportswear, Mayfield Sports Marketing, Mike Thiel and Eric Lives here, Miller Lite, and always the good folks here at the Fox Club and the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers. Keyshawn Nixon, we're not going to see you for a couple of weeks, but uh, I'm going to give you the final word. What do you have to say for all these uh, great Packer fans that uh, filled the flock Fox Club here tonight? Go, Pat, go. That's it. <laughs> Keep those claps coming for K9 for Kenny Clark. For Ricardo and the crew with USA Today Network Wisconsin, I'm Brett Christofferson saying so long. Be back here next Monday night at 6.30 as we celebrate a big Packers victory over the Los Angeles Rams with Josiah DeGuara and a teammate guest. In the meantime, it's our unofficial mascot, Mean Gene. Take it away, Mean Gene. Great crowd tonight, huh? This is fantastic. That is Todd First. There you go. They're always decked out. They got a little spooky thing there. How about a Kenny Clark signed photo? Todd, I like that shirt. It's a cool NFL draft, 2025 in GB. Whoop. Larry Leiterman. Larry Leiterman has a signed photo. There's Larry back there. Congratulations. You're welcome. Let's do a signed photo of the of K9, Keyshawn Nixon, right? Let's do that. That is AJ Eno. AJ. Where's AJ? He's always back there. AJ wins a lot of prizes. He does a lot of drinking. I think he does. Yeah. He, he admits it. It's, it's okay. It's he, welcomed here. It's well, Miller products. That's what we're trying to push, right? There you go. He's wearing the Vegas Golden Knights uh, sweater. 
That's what they call those in hockey. How about a? Uh, how about this, Ricardo? What is this? This is a Timber Rattlers Hawaiian shirt. Oh, I want that. Mm, there we go. Look good on your yacht. Good in the summertime, right? <laughs> Can I get it? There we go. That is Stephanie Bettig. Am I saying that right? From Appleton. There oh, we go. Right there. Well, you're going to look very good in that, Stephanie, yes. right? That'll look good. Congratulations. On 20-foot yacht, you. right? Right, yes. And we have two books, Quadzilla Finds His Footing by A.J. Dillon, right? Two children's books. It's excellent reading. It is, and we have a whole bunch of those to give away still throughout the course of the year as well. That is Amy Siegler. Amy Siegler. There you go, Amy. Congratulations to you. There you go. Congrats. You're welcome. And one more. Lori Leiterman. Didn't I, did I pick your name already, Lori? Yep. Larry Leiterman. No, I picked Larry oh. Leiterman. Now I have Lori Leiterman. Lori. Oh, okay. Lori Le The Leiterman's red hot back there. Thanks for coming, everybody. Xavier, thank you again. Xavier uh, congratulations See you Wednesday. Right there you go. Thank you. And we will do it again next Monday night at 630. Have a great week, everybody.